What's going on guys? It's STG. On this episode, I have another community trade. So guys, this next individual, he's really into vintage silver. He has recently started commenting on my videos. He sees I've been picking up some vintage and I noticed he comments a lot on Silverstruck's channel. I'm talking about none other than Mr. Mark Samuelson. So I've seen him do a few trades with Silverstruck and I was kind of intrigued because it seems like he's really into vintage and Mark, uh, we've been messaging back and forth and he showed me some of his vintage guys and it is amazing. I really love the type of vintage he collects and stacks. I'm not going to tell you what he has <laughs> uh, for, you know, privacy reasons, but he has some amazing stuff that I wish I had in my uh, vintage stack. So guys, we did a trade. Uh, it's safe to say that I traded him some vintage and he basically sent me this little package here. He has a little note and um, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read it because it's going to spoil the surprise. But he basically thanked me for the trade. He appreciated it. And I traded for something that you guys might actually be a little surprised. It's not something I normally um, collect. I do I do collect some of the more newer ones. But this is something that I, I generally don't add to my stack. But I am more than happy to have them in my stack right now. So guys, let me show you. It is some vintage owns this guys check it out welcome back guys as you can see here i got my nine owns us and we'll just take a look at what what years he sent me i got the 1987 1985 1983 1986 we got a 1982 first year we got 1984 86 another one 83 another one and another 85 so these are beautiful onzas i really do love the onzas and the libertads i it's not something that i normally stack but now guys i might have to start co collecting all of these i'm trying to finish my kookaburra collection i have about a dozen left for that so once i get done with that i think this is going to be my new silver collection that I need to uh, start. I do actually have a lot of the two ounce and the five ounce uh, more modern Libertads. I believe those sizes did not start until the late 90s. So it is something that I think is gonna be interesting. I know 1995 is a low mintage year. That's probably gonna be a pretty expensive coin to collect. Nonetheless, I think it'll be a new challenge, something that uh, I think is a good idea to start collecting since these do have a relatively low mintage, especially compared to the American Silver Eagles. So that's pretty much it for now. I just want to thank Mark Samuelson so much for the awesome trade. I'm glad we both traded for something that we both wanted. And I'm really fortunate that there are such great people in the community that are willing to do trades with me. That's all for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and as always, stack that gold.